Hello, everybody, dear friends. This is Arish Diff with you, and also with me today is Sati. One, two, three, four. And you've probably figured out by now, boys and girls, right, that it is 3 a.m. in the morning, and we are here at McDonald's. Here, you guys, just look. We came here to buy what, Sati? What is it? To what? To buy what, huh? Happy meals at 3 a.m. in the morning. Those with the families of Cartoon Cat, Cartoon Dog, Cartoon Mouse, and all the other cartoon stuff. You guys, there's even a cartoon sheep, a cartoon rabbit. I mean, there's just one incredibly big cartoon family. All right, Artum, I'm really going to step on it now. we got to hurry up and get there quick because we're running out of time. There were like six or seven different Happy Meals, I think. Oh, and by the way, I have read on the website that there's like a special line of choice in them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we got to see this. All right, all right. So we got to make it there on time. All right, the there's a line here, too. We always come to the drive-thru because it is just this one that is open 24 hours, you know what I mean? And, well, at night, you can also buy anything that you want there, really. Hello, can I please have Happy Meals collection with the Cartoon Family, the 3 a.m. edition, please? We did it. We ordered a topic unit so great once again. I hope that we get our Happy Meals this time without any incidents, like no one attacks us or anything. Just really, it's been great. Topic's gonna Pay forward, there he goes. Dave's gonna do his Hello, start. my card. You guys just look. Sophie ain't even got the receipt here. So let's put it away. So that's where we store all of our papers in the car. It's in the glove box. Guys, we were just told to wait in the parking lot. So we're gonna head out there right now. Our tomb. Huh? Man, they've probably forgotten about our order or something. Well, Savik, we've been waiting for it for how long now? Maybe this special edition doesn't even exist, huh? On your way? How did they get over here? Wait, 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 hold on. How could it appear on our hood like that? Look, no one came up to us. I mean, it was just here. The... Look, Savik, maybe we should just, like, leave it here, huh? Maybe this is how they lure us out of the car, you know? Really? Just look, let's not take these Happy Meals in with Come us. Come on, Artyom, there's nothing to fear. Savik, just think about it. Oh, no. Come on, grab it quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, get back in. You guys, that's it. Now let's just get the hell out of here. Oh, man, they must have been recording this entire thing. We gotta get to the studio now, dude. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, is anything up there? Time to step on its epic run. Now we have arrived at the studio here. Well, just to look how many of the boxes that we have here. Suffolk, I suggest that we start with the most unpopular character in the entire lineup right here. Everybody knows Cartoon Cat, Cartoon Dog, Cartoon Mouse. I mean, there may be certain questions regarding this one here, but I'm sure almost no one knows Cartoon Sheep. Did you even know, you guys, that before seeing this here, that there is a Cartoon Sheep? An actual sheep from the Cartoon Cat family. Well, it's just the Cartoon Family, I guess. That's how they're called. But to me, Cartoon Rabbit is the least recognized one. And as for Cartoon Sheep, well, all right, let's open it. I mean, let's try to do that, right? Man, or two, it can't be open. It doesn't make any sense. Stop it. Of course you cannot open up this Happy Meal just yet. There is a red subscribe button right here all over it. That is what is throwing us off. So you guys, please just scroll down below this video right now. Click on the red button here and make it gray so that we can open up this thing right here with Cartoon Sheep on Just it. Just click. Come on. Click on it right now. Because we can't even start the video here, you know? Three, two, one. Whoa. This looks epic. It just opened all by itself. Awesome. All right. Come on. Open it up. Let's see what's inside. Let's start with the figurine. Savik, just look at this. What is what it? Is it? Dude, guys, just look at this huge toy right here. It is crazy. Yeah, you guys. I got to say, it is pretty heavy. Just hold it steady so that our viewers can see it right. And the best part is, just look, it, this is right here, all of its dynamic. Oh, every arm and every leg is moving freely, just like this, just look. Oh man, wow, that's definitely one to put on the shelf. And the head rotates as well, man. Oh, wow, here to him. Look at what I found in here, dude. What else could you find in a Happy Meal? Either some fries or a chicken or beef burger, man. This is just something fantastic. Because look, it's a hamburger, but it's with some kind of white bun, which is also crumbly. It's, it's, I think it's meringue, also known as a bizet here. It's a sheep reference because cartoon sheep is basically well a sheep. Well, I gotta say that I've never, ever seen a burger just like this. I mean, I know that there are like regular sushi and then there's sweet sushi, but I have never seen not just a regular burger, but a sweet one at all, you guys. This is fantastic. Go on, try it, dude. 
Look, I'm not a big fan of sweets, especially if it's a burger, so you can just eat it all straight up and then tell our viewers how you like it, man, how you like it. Well, as for the meat, I see it's not that good, but the bun is nice and sweet. And what about the eyes, man? Those edible lines right there, huh? I think I'll save it for later. I hope it doesn't melt, though, because it's like already melting like snow. Flavor-wise now, just please tell us how it tastes and what is in there in general at all, because I've seen, like, really some lettuce leaves some ketchup, cheese, yeah, and meat. Look, look here. I'm going to show you guys everything. Let's open up the bun. It's got eyes on the skewers. It looks like, like a mini, mini burger. There's some cheese here right on the meat. Then there's some white cream and ketchup. And then, of course, there's the lettuce leaf and bun. This is really remarkable. I mean, the, this Happy Meal with cartoon sheep. And we have a sweet burger. Also, the box is just full of hay in there. I mean, you know, McDonald's makes certain references to each character. Like here, there's a lot of hay inside. It looks I think there was some more. Or two, it's just regular sugar instead of french fries. Tasty? But what if it is some kind of a poison? What kind of poison would a sheep have? Look, I don't really like sugar as it is. I've had my bill this delicious sweet bun. So, uh, well, sugar only for sheep. Come, come on, just try one of these. What is this? Something weird about it? Is it salty? Go on, just taste it, man. It's really salty. I think that it is sheep toilet filler, you guys. That's nonsense, man. Have you ever seen a real sheep? It's probably got some special fillers, like, you know, like huge. Let's sum things up here. We had a really cool toy in here that was a meringue burger here, and then there was also lots of hay, and instead of potatoes, there was sugar. Artyom, where's the toy? Where's the toy, Artyom? It is just like this with our next character, Cartoon Rabbit, and I've said it a few times already. Well, I don't know anything about him at all, so here's something. Were you aware that there was a hare or a rabbit from the Cartoon Cat family at all? Of course I did. Well, there he is, right here, dude. Look at his mouth. This picture of him right here just shows his whole personality. He's got the same palms just as anyone else from the Cartoon family. And dude, he's got some huge teeth that he bites people with, and eyes that sometimes fill up with blood. All right, our Enough talk. Let's open this thing up. If you were aware of Cartoon Rabbit, then why don't we have a video on the channel named My Drone Recorded Cartoon Rabbit before? Because I don't want to track him. I mean, just look at his teeth, dude. He's the only one of them that has scary teeth like that. And the most blood of the entire bunch. So come on now, open it up. That's enough talk. Well, you guys, if you compare him to Cartoon Mouse, then Cartoon Mouse is really some kind of like, look, he's like so chill, totally cool. See? Oh man, you guys, I'm anxious to see what he's there, got there, there, inside there, there, of that happening. You're meal. the burger expert here, so come on, go ahead and try oh, it. Oh man, watch that, you guys. Ooh, what the heck is that? It's gotta be a wool burger, Zavik. It's just nasty. You still have to try this, man. That's disgusting. I had fries with Jeff's hair on it last time, remember? And I also ate a warm. Guys, this is super gross. Wouldn't you guys agree? There's nothing here but this hair and this one single green leafy bun. And this also has a really good sauce on it. It was with ketchup, you guys. Just look, this is the life hack. You take some really untasty food, just pour some ketchup all over it, and there you go. So, like, if you purport some pasta three days ago, it's usually only edible if you put some ketchup on it as well, like, more or less. Why is there wool in there, though, huh? Like, just take all it's of it. It's kind of delicious, but you can't really chew it. Maybe it's like cotton candy? All right, well, let's give it a try. Mmm. Well, sauce is really good. Really good. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Mmm. It's just impossible to chew. Suffolk has wool all over for his baby! And there are also some mirrors in here. Just one of them fell off a little bit, but still. It's a very thematic burger. So though I don't understand why the fur is white when Cartoon Rabbit is black on the box right here. It could still be his fur, but like from most some of their body parts. Look, I don't know, but the sauce on this burger is incredible, dude. Suffolk, I mean, it's bunnies usually have white fur in some special places. Uh, yeah, bunnies are almost all white, so Cartoon Rabbit's black, but he's got some white marks too, just like a regular rabbit would. Just look right here, it has carrots instead of fries, and I've just seen carrots for sale at McDonald's, by the way. This Happy Meal set is probably one of the most themed sets ever, you guys. I mean, you can clearly see that each of these boxes has been put together so carefully, and just as much as we have right here, just like this Cartoon Rabbit, a burger with ears and fur and some carrots here. There's also poop inside of here. 
Cartoon Rabbit's poop. Yeah, look, there it is. Well, I guess it's Nesquik Flex, but look at that, dude. Oh, look at that, our chum. It's a toy, right? Oh, by the way, this Cartoon is really Rabbit. good. I left a lot of poop in there. You guys just look, a full-size toy right here. Just the size of some sort of a real rabbit from the wild. Just got a crazy toy. It's full-sized, really huge and cool toys with some movable arms here, some movable legs here, and you can just bend them in any way that you would like. That is the standard that I admire when I'm looking at toys. Sock, do you want to make us like, you know, like voodoo doll cartoon rabbit video just for us? I do. Cartoon Mass is a more familiar character. As you may know, Bruno also made a video about him. We didn't do it, but Bruno- Guys, what do you think is in there? Most likely since the mouse, I think there's gotta be cheese inside of there. But what do you think? Because before that, all these Happy Meals were like thematic. Yeah. The rabbit had carrots here, and the sheep also had some hay, but what could it be that is in Cartoon Mouse's special Happy Meal right here that we bought here? There's gotta be cheese with holes in it. I absolutely guarantee it. It has cheese with holes! Guys, right now, come on, go ahead and write in the comments what you think is going to be inside of there. And what would you put in there yourself, you guys, in Cartoon Mouse's Happy Meal? Oh, man. What's in there? What do you see? Tell me, Artum. Ah, What's in there, Artum? Ah, so big, man, that cursed thing took it off. Be careful, be careful. Ah, Gently. I'm putting it back in this place. Oh, come on, just damn it. Oh, you want to you sorry about that, Artum. I didn't mean to do it. You know what you are? You're a dumb dumb. Why am I dumb dumb? It didn't hurt. You guys, this happened two times to me. First one bigger than the other I'm one. I'm really sorry. Guys, there's an actual mouse trap in here instead of French fries. It's a real working trap. Look at that, Artum. I didn't mean to do that. Stop Look. it. What if the bones in my fingers were broken here? Did you even think of the consequences when you did all this to me? Look, that wasn't very smart of you, shoving your bare hands right in there. I mean, there could have even been a rat inside but, but of there. I mean, it's a hand. Happy meal. How bad could that possibly well, dude, be? Well, look. These are real working mouse traps. They can really hurt your fingers really bad. There were actually two burgers here. Oh, my goodness. Dude, those are so pretty. Guys, look oh, at no, them. Just look at this. Three burgers. Look, man. That's right. They're really cool. They're just awesome. As long as there's no mouse droppings inside of here. Apparently, this is just because Cartoon Mouse is basically a very small animal. Just like a sheep is that big. Well, a rabbit more or less is this, but he's like a little mouse. Cartoon look, Mouse. Isn't that mouse droppings? Uh, no, it's his cheese. Let me taste it. Man, this thing looks really good. Mm. It's got some usual flavor. It's like, kind of good. But it feels a bit stale. Well, it's a lot of cheese. Ah, stop it. This isn't fresh. I'm telling you. It's not fresh at all, man. <laughs> <laughs> the burger's fine, dude. Come on. Sorry. Well, it's really kind of a spoil. Just let's not eat it. Well, You're gonna get a stomach bug, man, and you won't be appearing on the channel for maybe a week for me. Well, I have some good time in the bathroom then. Just listen, right. you guys. There was a story. They were handing out free food, like a buffet, you know what I mean? Something ate so much that he got sick from it all. Arjun, when I was a kid, I used to stuff my mouth full of those little sausage things when they were tasting them, and I was super full. Uh, well, yeah, dude. They were always super tasty. Look, I got a toy out. Oh my goodness. Look at it, you guys. Cartoon Mouse is a real chalk right here. Everybody just started watching like this in the summer when I was up there to see Hey, what's with his ear? Look, is it okay? I mean, his ear is like kind of not off or something. Cartoon Mouse is still just a mouse, right? Like both Cartoon Cat and Cartoon Dog may be after him. Oh, for real. Here's a picture. So it is only natural that he has to always dodge their attacks the entire time. And apparently, he got like hit once and got clots right in the comments. So what would you guys think? Who bit off the ear of Cartoon Mouse here? Was it Cartoon Cat or Cartoon Dog? Guys, look at this. There's actually a cheese with holes inside of it, dude. Look at that. Oh, the cheese. It's super Well, smelly. yeah, it's supposed to be like that. My mom used to love that kind of cheese. You guys, you should try smelling this kind of cheese at the store. Smelling's free, by the way. The cheese is uh, it's really, really, really good. Although it smells like feet. That's quite questionable. This one is not great, but I like this one. Really, I'd really really don't like these little burgers. I didn't like the cheese, but the toy is cool as always. Anyway, like the, the filling in terms of food from Cartoon Mouse is kind of bad, I guess. Well, it's for Mouse. But these were top-notch burgers. Well, guys, there's nothing else left except for our last one. And last but not least, let's get to Cartoon Dog. 
Happy Meal with Cartoon Dog on it. We're getting really close to the final here, so really, I think he's topic. Don't knock it that. The final monsters of this episode, and let's see, right here, what oh, is inside of this Happy Meal? What's the sound? Did you hear that? It's like... Come on, turn around. Just give us a view of that over there. It's like something being fouled behind the oh, screen. There, too. Here we go again. Just like always, we're nearing the end. It's something weird is starting to happen. Okay, stop it. Let's go take a look at Let's it. Just uh, stick close to each other. Maybe it's a window that opened up and that's it. You should go first, you know. I'll cover your back. What is it? You see anything? You guys, it's like there was some weird sun coming from a warehouse. Anybody here? What if we left someone lost? Hey. Hello. Oh. Got nothing here, do you? Come on then, let's move on. But it's like, just like how I imagined it. Just like it. Well, the, well, the weather's not so good today, you know, you guys? There doesn't seem to be anybody in our warehouse here. Just our props for the other videos. That's it. Here we go. Oh, something's broken. Let me fix it here. Let's just go on with our happy meals in peace, you guys. And then we can just go home after that. All right, it's fixed now. All right, so let's get out of here. It's getting kind of cold in here. Come on then. Oh, what's this? That there were some real bones in the fries right here. Miraculary inside the fried packaging right here. Just look For at it. Dogs? Oh, it's disgusting, dude. How do you chew on that? What are you, a dog? Stop it. It just look that way, man. Just look. The bone is just like that one from the cartoon. Are you sure you're not a dog? I'm definitely human. And this one just looks like a cookie. Yeah, exactly. Dude, these aren't cookies. It's dog food. These are meant for dogs. Just look at this. Such a small burger here. Whoa. It's probably uh, oh, oh, a piece of what? A what? A meat? You guys, I didn't even think that we could be have something like this. I was assuming that, of course, it was a cartoon dog. Then, well, maybe there could be some sort of a raw meat here. I was thinking at least that the meat in the burger would be undercooked or, like, really raw, you know what I mean? Or there would probably be some steak with blood on it. But instead of a burger, it was just, like, a huge raw piece of meat right here. Look, man, that's some kind of burp. I mean, it makes sense that it's a doggy-themed Happy Meal, but it's just uh, nonsense. Sadik, let's just go ahead and try it a little bit right here, man. No, 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 no. I'm not eating what? that. No way, dude. Sadik, but we have to for the sake of yeah. the subscribers here. I mean, we definitely should try all of this for all of them to see They're us. not even interested. Guys, let us know in the comments if you're interested in it or not. Or maybe it's just too gross, you know? Uh, oh. Why would you even eat that, dude? You just go ahead and eat dog poop if you're at it. No one wants to see this, dude. Just look, Seth. You gotta think that it is that bad, man. Oh, there are guys. all cold. I'm actually learning our head. Oh, it's, start out. I won't do just it. Just try it, Seth. I remember you eating dirt in high school, and you were totally fine. So. Try it, no, Seth. No, 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 no. Well, come on, Seth. It's true for the sake of our subscribers. I'm not eating anything. Otherwise, you're a coward, just like Cubby Koff. So eat it up. Cubby Koff is my friend. Hey, Seth. Just like Cubby Koff. Oh, all right, Sophic, try that out with for me. All right, so what else is inside of there? Let's check out the toy now, okay? So just look how narrow Cartoon Dog's arms are, man. They're crazy. Oh, wow. It's just like, I think he's smaller than the other characters we've seen today. What do you think? No, 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 no. Wow, just look. He's like, he's huge. Just look, he's got a really long arm right here, and it's almost like mine, just a little bit smaller. The meat of a raw was actually tasty. You didn't have it on your arm. Of course, it's delicious, you guys. It's raw meat, man. I didn't like this stuff at all. You're just crazier, Tim, and your tastes are so off. Okay, just look. Apparently, it's not just this cartoon dog toy going in this Happy Meal, and there is actually more it's a in dog here. Puzzle. You see that? A toy as well. So if somebody were to buy this, well, that has a dog, then this would be really relevant. You could buy Cartoon Dog's Happy Meal, and then you'll also get a leash and a muzzle. Sorry, that's not how it works, man. Dude, there's no way it's gonna fit you. Your head. Well, it doesn't work for muzzling people, I guess. Okay, just look at this. Is that poop again? Come on, stop your care all about the poop. This is probably dog food right here. Some dry dog food? You're just putting everything in your mouth without even thinking, dude. It's meant for dogs. What the heck, man? Do you have any idea how it's made? How? Well, I'd really rather not tell you. But I know William Bruno ate this dog food when he was starving. Ah. Well, that's probably just some like crackers. That's no, right. thanks. Come on, try it. No. Just I one. I want to. It's all okay. I really don't like that. You guys, what a Watch coward. This. Okay, if that hits my mouth, then I'll eat it. All Come right? on. 
There, eat it. It reminds me of crackers. Just eat it, man. Dog really, it's really tasty. Dog food, I should it's say. It's like a dog vibe. Come on, stop. You just think of it as some weird crackers. Well, why? Mm -mm. There's nothing like crackers. Well, tr you try mine, then. I don't want yours. I'm going to the restroom. Okay, you guys. Really just get some softy some credit. He's actually an incredibly kind and responsible guy. And a really, really smart one. It's just that, well, maybe he, like, when it comes to food-related stuff, stuff is always so squeamish. I remember that from when he was a kid. Like, why is the fork so bad? Washer. Why is this been so dirty? So yeah, Sopic is kind of picky about that kind of stuff. Ooh, you guys, well, just to look at the most important, the most epic of all of the cartoons have family happy meals here, is of course Cartoon Cat's one toy that we have. Alright, so should we open it? Nah, let's, let's drop it. Well, okay, I'll just open it then. Thank you for granting me this honor, alright? Right, hold on, that's weird. You see that? What are you, what, what are you doing? But there's no Cartoon Cat toy inside of here. Well, it's gotta be, be here and have a burger for now. Hey, look at the fries here. It's totally weird. Like, what the heck's happening? The burger is just a regular one. Well, yeah. Uh, nothing, huh? Look, there's really nothing interesting here. It's really strange, huh? Martillo, Martillo, wait, 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 wait. Hold oh, on, you guys. I think I know. There's raw cat food inside of the middle of this burger meat. Oh, that's it, Artyom. Um, you really got a good bite of that thing. It's really gross. But it's so gross to eat that, man. Look, man, the french fries that we got here are probably made of something like that, too. You guys, as I bit into that burger, I felt something weird in there. Just, like, try that dry dog food more or less edible. This is like, you know, it's like cat food and wet and slimy and just stuck. Although the burger is disguised as an ordinary one, so it's just, like, cut out right here, man. And then there's this, like, disgusting stuff in it. It's a really strange toy. It's, like, so small and yeah, it's not like you this. you tried eating the fries inside? No, 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 no. The burger was stuffed with cat food and the fries. Oh, well, I don't even know what to expect. Come on, Topic. You just refuse to try any of this. All right, man. I've learned enough by now. Stop putting it by my mouth. Otherwise, our video won't no, be interesting. No, 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 no. I mean, you guys, as well, there's so much to watch this video of Topic. Just I've had that dog food before. Topic, just think about it. There can't be a toy like this in a Happy Meal at all. Maybe there used to be action figures, and now there's just a bunch of nothing. Oh. Yeah, the fuses are out again. I mean, how many times have I said to you, just to Rustam, fix those damn fuses once and for all? Well, call him. What the? What's wrong with your phone, dude? My phone's uh, just gl glitching. Look, I don't, I don't like that. Just like always, it's totally strange. Wait, I'll just reboot it. No, it doesn't want to turn off at all. Come on, give it back to me. Don't break my phone, dude. I think it was really expensive. Okay, stop it. We're gonna like take one of these bulbs here. Look, it's a good thing it's battery powered. Well, let's go. Let's just uh, be really careful. Just stick with me no matter what, man. You know. Maybe we should grab a fire extinguisher. I don't know. At least knock somebody out with it. Maybe it's actually someone. Look, Artyom. Maybe it's thieves or something. Why does it creak so terribly? Come on, Artyom. Come on, just stick close. Let's get to the panel and then we'll fix the lights right here. I think the power is out in the whole building again. We'll just. Uh, Oh, man, why is that switchboard so far away from there? <laughs> you guys, this is getting really creepy. Just please give me 100,000 likes for this. Just write something. Where was Sophic, huh? I should call him now. Oh, his phone is turned off. Right. But the lights are back on. Hey, Sophic. Where are you? Sophic. Where did Sophic go now? Like, aren't the lights on everywhere right now? Hey! Sophic! Come on, stop messing around, man! It's not funny anymore! Hey! Sophic! You guys, just look! It's a toy! I think Sophic must have found it here! It's the cartoon cat figurine here! And there's a, a note in his hand! It's, it's all scrumpled up! It's just don't mess with me here! What? the hell is going on in here, you guys? <laughs> Sophie, come on! Hello everyone, dear friends. Adish Niv is with you. And today, we will check which pool is easier for all of us to sit. We've got a hot pool here and a cold one. Many have already filmed videos about hot and cold, but today we'll find out in which pool it will be the hardest to sit in. And you often write to me that when I shoot videos, I personally do not take part in them and I don't suffer enough. Therefore, today I myself will sit in one of the pools and the one to check the honesty of today's competition will be... Sophie. One, two, three, four, guys. Guys, I will be in charge today. I'm gonna be the judge and I'm gonna watch how they sit in the pools and entertain them with various trials.
trials and challenges. I'm gonna spin this wheel of fortune and it's gonna come up with various challenges or with some very positive complications. I will choose a cold pool for myself so that I can feel cheerful throughout the game and I endure the cold much easier than the heat. Guys, I'm getting a pool of hot water. I think it's much better than the cold one because when it's hot, you're just feeling hot, getting all sweaty and thirsty, but when it's cold, it can just get unbearable to the point of hurt. Guys, I came up with everything in this competition. Look, water is pouring from the tap here and currently it's about 40 degrees outside. So the water is somewhere around that. But look here, we have a hot pool, and this one's not so simple. We have four boilers here, very powerful. Look, watch this, steam. You hear that? It's hot here, and all four of them have a total capacity of 15 kilowatts. Guys, that's a lot of power. They heat this pool to almost 70 degrees, and that's not all. We have a very powerful heater, and it also heats it from the inside, and the heat radiates right into there. And then, there's also this heat gun. Now we will climb into the hot and cold pools, and we are shooting these videos just for one purpose. See this big head right here. I am telling you that you want to know what is is inside of this man's mouth. He has my channel in his mouth to which you need to subscribe to you guys. Press the red button. It's not difficult for you, but it will be very pleasant for me. These videos are made exclusively just for you so that you can watch and cheer yourself up, you guys. Here's Vladik. When he asks his viewers to subscribe to his channel, they subscribe, you guys. He already has 20 million subscribers and I have 1 million. This is certainly a lot, but you subscribe when I give away an iPhone or something or spend a thousand dollars on a subscriber I can't give a phone every video so please I'm telling you subscribe right now well because you know we're actually filming doing all of this just for you buddy and if you do not subscribe I will realize that I don't deserve all of your subscriptions okay guys get in come on Bruno come on move it hey hey, hey come on get in Everyone, sit down. Now, I'll explain to the guys what our main prize is. Guys, the participant who completes the most challenges and punishments will receive this wonderful key to this safe, which contains the promised prize. You have no idea what could be in there. And that's the thing, absolutely nobody does. It must have been about three minutes already, because I feel totally comfortable in this hot pool. And if I could have some sort of cool drink in here, in general, it would be perfect. I hope the drink turns out for me on the wheel of fortune. But in the meantime, I sit here without any hardship. Guys, right now, at this exact moment, I feel incredibly energized due to the fact that I'm sitting in ice water. Next to me, there's an endless stream of just the coldest water ever. I don't know, it's sub-zero temperature for sure. It seems to me that it's much more comfortable to sit here than in this boiling water. Look, this water is so hot it turned red. It's outstanding. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll sit here for another 15 minutes. I am ready to sit for two hours, three even. I'll sit for four. <laughs> How long have we been sitting here? About an hour? Yeah. My hands are already blue. In fact, it's very difficult to sit here and I just incredibly want to plunge myself into the hot water over there because the water here is very cold and it's nearly impossible to sit here for long. Bruno, 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 you must what? plunge completely. Look over here at me, I'm all the way down to my neck. Or what? Well, if Safik tells me to plunge, then okay. Otherwise, I'm not really into it. Surely you need to move more. It helps to gain some heat. Artem, if you want, we can change. How about that? No, wait, that's against the rules, man. You can't change. Guys, if anything, since you can see for yourself how Artyom feels, I added a hose with hot water to this pool. Look, if you can see it, there's even steam coming out of this water because he's just lying around here. He's good. And poor Bruno is completely, totally freezing in this pool. I already told you that the cold is always much worse than the heat, you guys. Seriously. Yes, I'm feeling hot. Yes, I'm thirsty. But I already have, look, my hands, well, like an old woman. But I'm actually feeling fine. I'm sure that I will be able to sit out Bruno, apparently, in a complete everything better than him. Look, he's shaking all over. Dive in completely, man. I don't want to do it. If Safik gives me such a task, I will do that. But I'm waiting for the challenges anyway. I want to acquire some kind of, I don't know, let's say a wetsuit just to make it warmer. Okay, I turned off RTM's hot water. Can I have some hot water too? I'll give you a cold one instead. Here. Well, it's already cold here. 
So uh, what? You chose to cold pool yourself. Ah, I'm going to another corner. Arishnev Production decided that Arishnev would be the first one to spin the wheel. But since he can't spin the wheel personally, I'll do it. Guys, Artyom gets the chili pepper. Well, are you ready? Of course, I'm sitting in a hot pool, but so far I'm as comfortable as possible. And I think that a little pepper will definitely not spoil the fun. This here is the most fierce chili pepper. See how huge it is? This thing was grown in the Philippines in someone's garden and then it got harvested. So look, vigorous, bright red, here Artyom. Guys, I do not care about any pepper right here. It hurts as much as possible in my mouth. I even screamed, then leaned on the pool. I've got this heater back over here and it burns my back, you guys. Ah! I really hope that I won't get sick after this experiment, but for the sake of you guys, I'm ready to sit here until the end. So please click on the red button. Artem, can I please have some pepper, at least tiny bit of it? Bruno doesn't understand what he's asking for, seriously. My whole mouth is on fire right now, you guys. It's crazy. Saifik, can I give this pepper to Bruno? No, you can't. Ah, ah. Look guys, these little grains, this is the most fierce thing that's inside of a pepper. Well, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm getting really hotter, you guys. But let's go further with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get something for Bruno, yeah? Hopefully some ice. Well guys, now it's William Bruno's turn. Yeah, yeah! Can I have some soup, perhaps? Damn! Apparently Bruno gets an ice cream. Guys, look what we have in the fridge. It's a pile of ice. I don't know who might fall to. If it falls to William Bruno, it'll be a shock. And here, we're gonna take the ice cream. So William Bruno, which ice cream do you wanna choose? None of it, please. Oh, oh my, I'm already sitting in ice water. I still have ice cold water powering here. What's in there? Take it, eat one or the other. Well, let's take the smaller one. Do I have to eat it? Yes, entirely. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. I'd give anything right now for some hot soup to have it right here in the bottom. Bruno! Yeah? Shall we change? You can give me some ice cream and I'll give you some hot soup. Well, if it falls out. Would you like this ice cream? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, you can't do no. it. No, you can't. Please, you guys have to play by the rules. Don't pretend that you're cold. Yeah, then come join me. I won't. I'm not sure if I'll be able to sit here until the very end, but I'll try. I'm still sitting here. There's a wetsuit. Why this Wheel of Fortune is so unfair to me. It would really help me out right now. William Bruno, look at Artyom. If anything, he's almost in up to his neck, and you're still up to your underpants, so it's not even fair. Yeah, because these boxers are nearly on his neck. <laughs> Honestly, I would lie down like Artyom. May I join him? I will also well, lie dude, down like lie him. lie down there. I have an ice pool, guys. You guys understand what he's doing is not fair. Everything needs to be okay. fair. Guys, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> that's it, that's enough. All fair, yes. <sighs> Guys, to be honest, I'm very tired, man. I understand that Bruno is probably in the most difficult position. Saifik, do you mind if I go and spin the Wheel of Fortune now? Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. I've got one problem now. Well, in short, I'll be back in just 20 minutes, or I won't be back here at all. Or, I'll be back. I'll be back for sure. Okay, guys, in fact, I really just wanted to see if these guys were gonna play for real. See if they're gonna cheat and lie, or if they're gonna play honestly. Hey, you there, cameraman, please go to them and tell them that you turned off the camera, but record everything. Everything. Just record all of it. Don't miss a thing, so later the audience can see exactly how it really was. Come on, go record them. See what they're up to. I don't know where Suffolk is going, but I'm Thirsty. Let me have at least a little bit. Oh. Hey! Hey, what? Oh. Oh. Get out back to your oh. pool, man! This is it! It's so Ooh, good! Go back here, guys. Right there! Please give me a minute while Sapphic is gone. I'll warm up a bit! Ooh. Bruno, that's Ooh. enough. Now let's go! Yeah, yeah, sure. Do it! Arjo, I have no choice anyway. It's really cold out there. Arjo, please, couple of minutes and that's it. Sapphic will be back in 20 minutes. Just let me warm up a bit. Well, that's gonna be against the rules. Our viewers do not like it when one of us quarrels or plays unfairly. Let's just play fair, man, shall we? <laughs> 
I understand that this is a bit unfair, but honestly, it's impossible to sit there. Okay. But you don't want to be compared with there with Pashka Sharaev, right? Just do it like this, not so sophic. But you get out of here. Fine, okay. I don't want to be like Pasha Sharaev. Oh, guys, my boxers turned red after Artem's school. I hope Sapphic doesn't notice it. It's impossible to sit here. And Artem is a real buzz there. There's hot water over there, and after this ice bath, I am feeling way, way better. Please do not scold Bruno, he's really, really cold. And do not tell Sapphic, he just warmed us up a little. Guys, you've seen everything. Bruno, of course, broke the rules, but luckily they did not quarrel because the main thing is that their friendship should remain intact, right? Guys, well now we're starting to spin the wheel of fortune. Ta-da! Oh, guys, this is an astronaut suit. It's Hydra or something. Here, do you guys recognize this? Oh, no, why? Come on, Sophie. Well, what kind of wetsuit? I'm so hot, you guys. I can't sit in this hot pool anymore, anymore today. Can I have this thermal suit, please? It's so cold here, damn it. At least one more pair of boxers, damn it. It's really impossible to sit here, impossible. <laughs> Artem always gets something hot in his hot bath. Tell me, is this fair or what? Now I'm gonna bring Artem a wetsuit. Then we're gonna spin the Wheel of Fortune and we're gonna see what you're gonna get. Maybe it'll be something good. Okay, let's do it. Here, Artem, your wetsuit. So? Guys, to be honest, this suit is stinging my throat right here and I can barely, barely breathe because it's really, really steamy in here, you guys. It's hot and I'm sweating all over. Guys, coming up next, William Bruno. Now, I'm gonna spin the wheel and see what it comes up with. So far, these guys haven't gotten any cool prizes. All they've gotten is punishment inside of their pools. Spinning the Wheel of Fortune. Guys, William Bruno just got an inflatable boat. This is the same Commander 3000, the most pumped up boat in the entire area. Now I'm gonna bring this pumped up boat to him. I hope that the boat will not be as pumped as Sapphic says, but nice and whole instead. And I can warm myself on it for an hour at least. Well, and after that, I'll continue my adventures in this cold pool. Here, here, here. Here's what you got, William Bruno. Oh, can I climb on it? Yeah, hop on. Whoa. Oh, well, now we have equal chances with Artyom because he's very hot right now and I'm just floating over here and chilling, you know? It's well, guys, until the next spin of the wheel, we have exactly three hours. And the guys are given some time to, well, uh, just sit in their pools to relax a little bit. All right, I'm going to leave for now. Uh, guys, I've been hanging out in my boat for 40 minutes and this is just awesome, for real. Artem is over there in his sauna, and I'll have to swim in this icy water. But Savik says he would take back his boat in one hour. But for now, I have an hour to relax, to get some sleep, and prepare for the next challenge, basically. Guys, I understand that we are to fair play and so on, but I really didn't want to cheat until the very end. But Bruno climbed into the pool with me while I was in here. And after his cold water, he warmed himself up in my warm pool. And now he just lies on his boat and sleeps now. And while he's asleep, time's just flying for him over there. And while Bruno's sleeping, I will do him a little bit of a trick to get back at him for getting into my pool and breaking the rules. By the way, and I didn't say anything to Sophic about him coming into my pool at all, so he knows. Ah, 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 I'm sinking! Ah, 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 I'm sinking! I'm sinking! I'm sinking! I'm sinking! Ah, Artyom, you crippled my boat! Ah, how cold! I still had one hour, damn it, Artyom! Yes, I blew up your boat, Bruno, but you got into my hot pool, right? I'm done sitting here, seriously. I ate red pepper. Nova put his Hydra suit on me, and I'm so tired already, man. Why did you get into my pool, and I didn't get into yours? It's really not fair. Well, Artyom, if you want to get to my pool, no problem. Climb in. There's still plenty of room here. I won't even tell Sapphic if you get in. I mean, just get here. No problem. Well, why piercing my boat? Bruno, here is what I propose to you. Let's not tell Sophic, all right? But let's swap pools. Well, because we can no longer sit like this, really. I will sit in yours and have time to cool off from the heat. And you can do the same in my hot pool. Do you agree? Artem, I don't know. Sophic did a great job. He organized this whole game, came up with all these challenges. If we don't play fair, it won't be interesting for both Sophic and the audience. Well, okay, Artem, let's swap the pools for a minute, okay? Okay, Bruno, let's just do it for one minute, all right? But no more. Guys, well, really, I just can't can't sit in this anymore. It's so hot in here. It's so good. Oh. Whoa. Awesome. Guys, right here, 
there is this huge battery that's warming me from the back. There are four boilers on the right. Damn it, it's certainly possible to stay here for a long time. But after that cold pool, it's just a pure pleasure. Guys, finally, God, seriously. The camera didn't record it, but when I sat down in here, I was already evaporating because of how hot I was in here. It's just totally awesome here. Safik also turned off the cold water, and I wanted to pour some cold water in myself at least a little bit. Guys, I understand that I didn't act honestly, poorly even when I would pierce Bruno's boat, but I was just incredibly insane insulted and hurt, well, because he was in sitting in my warm pool and had time to cool down and then blissed out on the boat. And I, just like a total sucker, just sat in this hot pool feeling extremely hot, seriously. Even now, I would gladly take off this wetsuit and would be happy to swim without these clothes, which always warm me up, because I really don't want to cool down as quickly as possible, you guys, and so that Safik would not notice this. Bruno, please forgive me, man. I didn't mean to act so meanly to you. I'm sorry I got you sinking. Would you Forgive me, I'm sorry my friend. Well, you know guys, I was actually a little bit unhappy that I lost my boat. You remember it? Artem invited me to his hot pool and, and this is the second time I've been warming up here while Safik is gone. And I don't think the boat is worth losing your best friend. Therefore, of course, I forgive you Artem. Let's change back the pool. Safik is coming back. Oh, Bruno, yeah, let's switch then. Oh, oh back to my boat. Oh my god. Whoa, guys, this water is so cold. Guys, I've seen everything. How they replace each other in their pools. Well, the main thing here is that they did not quarrel. They talked and everything was in favor of friendship, guys. Well, how's it going? Hi, Safik. Hello. How did you manage to pierce your boat? Well, somehow I just got hit on the side and pierced it, but still, I don't leave the boat. I mean, everything is according to the rules. I'm still sitting in the boat, as you can see. Well, you can get off it. It makes no, no difference. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Cool shorts you have there. So stylish and red speckled. Yeah, it's because of the boat. The boat is red and I'm red too. Well, sure, I get it. Now, guys, a lot of things depend on this touch. Either this is Artyon's victory or it's his loss. This next spin is going to determine the fate of both of them. Guys, Artyom got the spicy noodles. I'm gonna go bring them from the table right now. Tell me why, you guys. Tell me why. The what did I do wrong? Seriously, I haven't recovered yet after that pepper, and Savik brings me some hot noodles now so that I'm completely done in here. I can't take this crap anymore, you guys. Guys, I found this one on the table of Arishnet Production. Here, hold your dish carefully, Artyom. It's very hot. Safik is away for now, but I must complete the task honestly, so this is the only reason I sit and eat these hot spicy noodles, you guys. Bro, oh, I can't take this anymore, you guys. I almost forgot. Artyom, here's the secret ingredient. Oh, why are you doing this? It's spicy. It's spicy enough. Hey, come on, stop it. Come on, enough. Stop it. It was spicy enough. Why did you do that? This is the spiciest Tabasco pepper. <laughs> Uh, guys, it seems to me that this is a little bit unfair. Although, yeah, it's kind of fair, probably. But damn, Artem always, always gets something that just warms him up. Uh, can I get some? Stop. E eat it, eat it, eat it, Bruno. Hurry, eat it up. Hey, guys. Come on, come on. It's against the come rules. On, come on, come on. This is totally against the rules. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Give it back. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Come on. You're going to be fed right after him. Hey, I ate it all. Take it away. All right, guys, Artyom made everything. He did a great job. I have one idea. We're going to do another challenge right now. Whoever is the one to hold their breath underwater for the longest amount of time wins. Guys, let's go check it out right now. I know, and you also know, that I saw through this little crack here and how they climbed into each other's pools. Both of them. Now, Artyom, for this challenge, he's going to have to sit inside of this pool together with Bruno. Both of you guys together in the same pool. Whoa, hurrah, finally. Can I get into Artyom's pool, please? Yeah, can you get into my pool, Safik, so that I can maybe, you know... Uh... I'm sorry, William Bruno, but you have the only transparent pool here, and it'll be clear whether you cheat or not. So sorry to tell you, but you're the only one here with a transparent pool. Whew, guys, finally. Oh, guys, if you could only know how great I'm feeling right now after that hot pool. Now that I'm in a cold one, I am chilling my arms, legs, everything. My torso is just cool even down a little bit just right now. All right, guys, we need to quickly complete this challenge so that our Tim isn't stuck in the cold water for too long. Here. Now we have some additional weights to keep them in there longer. Okay guys, grab your weights. Three, 
two, one. Dive in. Well, guys, as you can see, I don't know which one of them is enduring longest, but our Tilm looks like he's doing the best. No! First one to jump out was William Bruno. Guys, is that you? Can I get Come out? Come on, everyone, get back to your pools. Artem, get back over there. Not you, William Bruno. Damn again, uh, Nissan pool again. We have the next spin of the wheel. Let's go. Can I get another boat, please? Guys, did you see what fell out? That's three ice cubes at least. Can well, you spin it again, please? I just no want way. a new boat. Uh, okay, get those ice cubes here. It's already so cold here. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Guys, to be honest, well, Bruno and I, of course, are competitors and cheer and all that, but I think that we got closer to each other during the game, you know? And it seems to me that, you know, Bruno will definitely not endure the ice. His lips are blue. Also, his hands are blue. Well, okay, I'm still all right. It's at least a little easier for me. Well, here comes the ice. There should be just three cubes. Well, hey, three Savic, buckets. Savic, ah! oh, oh, stop it. Savic, stop it. Ah, ah! There were three cubes on this wheel. You brought three buckets. That's not fair. Come on. Oh, time to warm up. Oh, cold. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's it! Our jump goes farther! Our jump won! I don't care anymore! Uh, take this victory! <laughs> Guys, I understand that the video does not convey the cold I experienced. I would probably have sat there for another hour or two, maybe more, but those three buckets of ice just carried me right away. Now it's totally impossible to sit in this water, really. So please forgive me, it was rooting for me, but it's much easier to sit in a hot pool. I'm now sitting here and getting really high, so so Artem wins. Congratulations. So that means that I won? Where's my key then? Here. Here's your key, Artem. Congratulations on the victory. Shall we open it together? Bruno, let's go, let's go, let's go. 